Welcome back. Breaking news. This is Susan Nyland of the TBI talking about that Williamson County shooting. Let's listen in. As they see fit. Again, this is a still very ongoing, very active investigation. So we are limited as to what we can provide at this point. Um, if you have any questions, if I'm able to provide them, I will. What type of weapon? Not gun, at this point. Not at that point. Was it the homeowner? Uh, we aren't identifying the individual at this point. One officer used a taser and the other officer fired his gun? Uh, that's still being determined. That's going to be part of our investigation. How many officers arrived here at the scene at the time? There were two. Two officers Correct. arrived in the same car, different car. Do you know? I believe different cars. Different cars, okay. Correct. Anybody else familiar? home at the time? That that's still being investigated. What was that last question? I'm sorry. If anybody else was home at the time. Okay. Where there was, do you know if they've had any calls here before, any encounters with this? I, I could not tell you that. That might be something for local law enforcement to address. Okay. Where do y'all go from there? Well, we, like I said, we do have our criminal, um, our um, forensic scientists who are here at the scene, and they are um, collecting ev any evidence, doing measurements, taking photographs, documenting the scene um, in order to take that back. Um, that will be part of the case file. And again, we have special agents who are continuing to um, conduct interviews throughout the day. I expect that this is going to be an active crime scene for several hours today. What happens with the officers from Fairview? Are they on administrative leave or? Any that would be a question you need to address with that agency. Okay. How far away from like the front door of the home that we're looking at now was the man when he pulled his weapon? I can't give you that information at this point. Okay. Thank you. We're trying to, you know, and so the, the best you can tell at this point is he came out with a weapon, but wouldn't drop whatever weapon that, that he had in his hand at this point. Correct. He he um, he did. He was armed with a handgun, and when officers were giving him commands, he was non-compliant, and that's when they engaged in um, some sort of non-lethal taser, uh, engaged in their taser, which did um, deployed, but it was ineffective. Okay. Then the officer, other officer, then returned, uh, not returned fire, but then decided. To shoot. Well, it, it, there was one officer who fired the weapon. Um, I don't want to say at this point if it was the same officer or a different officer. That's still part of our investigation going on right now. Can you say for sure if the victim in this case ever fired any shots? At I cannot say for sure. Okay. So we know he was tamed. There were no officers who were injured. You know, when he came out with a gun and, and, and some altercations took place where he was tased. And at that point, it, when the tase didn't work, did, did he, had, had he already risen his gun? Or did he not raise it until... I can just tell you at this point that after the uh, taser proved to be ineffective, the individual did draw his weapon. And at that's, that's the point in which an officer fired. Okay. okay. So... Sure, Susan Nyland, N-I-L-A-N. All right, that's Susan Nyland, spokesperson for the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. They're looking into this Williamson County officer involved deadly shooting that happened in Fairview this morning. That's right, a man is dead after being shot by police officers in Fairview overnight. They say he came out of a home and he had a gun. He wouldn't drop it. They tased him, so that didn't work. So then they fired the shot. No officers, though, injured during that altercation. Yeah, we're going to get more from Dan Kennedy in just a moment on this as that press conference that you're hearing you were hearing live wraps up. Let's